Hi, I'm Colleen Emery, the Executive Director of Hope House Northern Colorado. I recently had a couple women ask me how I started Hope House, and after sharing that with them, they encouraged me to share it with you. They felt like people needed to know that. It started in 2014. I was asked by a local ministry that was starting support for teen moms. They were kicking off the whole ministry by doing a spa day for these young ladies. So they needed different people to come and help pamper them. And at the time, I was a cosmetologist and did hair, so they asked me to be a part of it and you know, kind of make over some of the girls and have a great time, and, and I did. I met these girls and was amazed at just their bravery, how much they love their kids, and it was, it was a really special time of connection with them. Once I found out that they needed help, they asked me to become a mentor to these girls in this ministry. My kids had just left the house, and they were all in college, and I thought, yeah, I have the bandwidth to do this now. So I did that, and I mentored these girls for the next couple of years. Not long after that, my husband and I were called away for a couple years from his job. We lived overseas in Zurich, and kind of uh, kept a little bit in touch with the teen moms. Um, and then when we returned, some of those teen moms were on their second babies, and yet their economic situation had not changed. And then I was really starting to see their challenges. And I was wondering, how, how do we help them? How do we get them to a place where they can take care of their families and have the necessary education? So one day I'm sitting in church and the pastor is giving the message about women in history, women in the Bible who have changed the course of history. Some were queens, but others were marginalized women. And it got me thinking of my teen moms and wondering what God's plan was for their lives beyond motherhood. And that's when I felt like I had this calling. Maybe a voice in my head said, it's time to start a teen mom home. And it connected deeply within my heart um, to my soul. And I knew when that happened simultaneously that something profound was happening. And honestly, I got emotional at, I think, the overwhelming nature of the call. And uh, my husband was inquiring, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I explained to him after church, I think I'm supposed to do this. And being the incredible man he is, he fully supported it. But it was a jumbled mess in my head. How do I do this? At the time I was 48, I don't know how to start something new. I'm a hairstylist, this is not what I do. And yet God, I think, calls those people and qualifies them later. That took me a long time to really understand. So the next day, I put butcher paper on a hallway and I got a lot of sticky notes. And across the top, I wrote all the things that I thought our girls would need to get to self-sufficiency. Whether that was GED, some kind of pathway for a career, uh, legal assistance, uh, food assistance, human services assistance. And then underneath those sticky notes, who do we know that can help us with this? So once it was on paper, I thought, this is doable. And a couple days later, a friend of mine said, hey, would you like to tour Hope House in Arvada? I didn't know what it was, um, but I thought, sure. And within a week, I was touring the facility of Hope House Colorado in Arvada. And they were so gracious and their team that every time we met somebody, they stopped what they were doing, they introduced us. And there was Julie, who was their legal advocate. And I thought, gosh, Julie's the sticky note on my wall. And then there was Ashley, who is in charge of GED. And I thought, Ashley's a sticky note on my wall. And I started to understand God was showing me something here, that I was not alone in this endeavor um, to create this resource for teen moms. So I got with their executive director, Lisa Steven. She's the founder and executive director, probably a couple months later and shared with her like, I love your model, we want to replicate that in Northern Colorado, and we would like to be your first affiliate. And she said their board had visited that thought, but they were currently in the middle of a multi-million dollar capital campaign for a resource center for teen moms. And I said, that's okay, I have a lot to learn. So for the next year, I just started reading about childhood trauma, about generational poverty, just about teen moms within our community. 
In addition, they had invited me to any meetings I wanted to come to, whether it was development meetings, how do you raise funds for an organization, or for programming, what different kinds of programming did Hope House have. So for the next year, that's all I did. And almost a year to the day later, after that first meeting with Lisa Steven, their board approved our affiliation. And we received that phone call right after their board meeting, and oddly enough, it was during our board meeting. We had no idea that this was happening, um, but we celebrated together. And in Hope House, they have a huge gong that the girls like to ring when they meet a goal that they have set for themselves. And we didn't have that. But what we did have sitting in my living room was a huge Swiss cowbell that we brought back from Zurich. And we thought, what is a more appropriate symbol to celebrate our teen moms uh, here in Greeley than a cowbell recognizing its rural roots of our community? So we rang the bell in celebration and then we began. We filed for our 501c3. We received it, however, in April of 2020, which I think you all remember what was happening in the world at the time. And we did have a little bit of money, but we decided these girls are struggling. Daycares were closing. Moms did not have, they couldn't go to work. Um, they were getting behind in rent. And so our board shifted and we just began serving girls. We just gave them what they needed to stabilize their lives. And um, I was so grateful for a board that would recognize that. Then in 2021, we said, okay, now we're explaining to the girls, this is give and take. We wanna see you set goals. We are here to support and walk alongside you for those goals. We began parenting classes in churches because we didn't have a place yet to land. September of that year, we opened our resource center in Greeley and we're so excited to finally have a place where these girls could call home that would be familiar to them, a place where they could belong, and since then just have been adding new programming all the time. We offer parenting classes, healthy relationship classes, financial literacy classes. We have now just uh, really started going with our GED program. We've had two girls in the last five days graduate with their GEDs. And then we can also support them in other things that they want to do, whether it's certifications, they want to go into community college or traditional university. But we're starting to see the markings of all these accomplishments. And boy, that cowbell is being rung all the time. So that's a little bit of the history of how this all began. And it was a simple yes to a call. And if you think you're not qualified, God will qualify you because I was the least qualified person to start this. And yet I see his guidance every day and just how he shows up to love these girls. So that's it, that's the whole story. And thank you for being here tonight and listening to all that's going on in Hope House.